Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very long time since I posted a video. We've just been super busy, a uh, lot going on. We just had a newborn and she's awesome. Everybody's happy and healthy and we are moving out of New York. So a lot of stuff going on. But anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna be starting a brand new project. Because we were moving out of New York, I sold all of my rental properties, I sold everything I have, and the new house that we're moving to in Tennessee only has a half acre of land. So I had a big, beautiful Ferris lawnmower, but I sold that, and instead I'm gonna go full electric with a riding lawnmower. It's pretty small. I'm gonna be picking up a Roby electric lawnmower, and I'll be replacing those batteries with Tesla modules. I think it's gonna be a really cool project, so stay tuned if this interests you. So to start off this project, I'm here at my buddy's shop. This is Alpha Auto in Cortland, New York. He's a really awesome guy, really fair prices. This is where I've gotten all of my Tesla parts over the years. Uh, just right here, I see seven or eight Teslas right here in this yard. I think he has some more inside. So pretty much anything you could possibly need for a Tesla. Uh, but for me right now today, it is the Tesla modules I'm gonna be buying from him. So he does have an eBay store. He is really active and he sends the stuff all over the world so if you need anything totally not sponsored i'm actually paying for these modules price uh, so this isn't a sponsorship or anything i just really like this company really like this guy here and uh, they're just they've always been fair to me so if you need anything they've got pretty much any tesla part you can possibly need and i'm just waiting for him to show up this morning and we're going to go inside and pick up some batteries and then tomorrow i'm going to be driving to buffalo new york i found a a Roby lawnmower up there with bad batteries. So this all is gonna work out hopefully pretty good, pretty easy. I ordered the BMS that I'm gonna be using. I ordered that this morning. That probably won't be here for a few weeks, unfortunately, but yeah, I think it'll be pretty fun, pretty easy project. Wish me luck and we'll see how it goes. Yep, two batteries. Man, that's quite the pile. Just picked up these brand new looking batteries. So we've got one there and we laid the other one carefully right there because I have a big inverter in the back of my car that I got to mail out. So I think that's it for now. I'm just going to take these home, test them. I don't have a multimeter with me, but like I said, I trust these guys and I'm sure they're good. And then tomorrow morning, I'll drive up to Buffalo. Well, I don't know if you can see me because it's 5 a.m., but it's the next day and I didn't realize we were getting a snowstorm. Yeah, here it is April 19th, and we're supposed to get a foot of snow. I really thought I was done with snow uh, because we are moving to Tennessee. I gave away all of my snow brushes. I thought we were done, absolutely done with winter. I, and yeah, so I'm going to use my hands uh, to brush off all the snow. But anyways, I'm going to get on the road, go pick up this new mower so we can start the new project. Oh, I don't think you could even see this, but these are pretty rough conditions. It looks like the plow hasn't even gone through yet. I see tracks on the left there from another car that had gone in that lane, but wow, this is, uh, this is really snowy. Actually, this is also a good time to show you the difference between my diode dynamics fog lights and without. So there's without see it's more of a just a hyper white color and then with it lights up all the sides everything so much more yeah I love these lights link in the description below <laughs> Just uh, empty case. I get that question all the time, though. So you, more than, you got more than one of them, then. Yeah. So I have um, the T-Rex camper that I built, and that one has batteries. That one works. But um, then I, before that, is the first version, and that one's gone. I took that apart and sold it a while ago. So that makes a really good shell there. Oh yeah. It? Yeah. And it's supposed to tilt. Also, I haven't used it before, but yeah, it's supposed to tilt. I've had it for. I don't know, about a year now. I got it from Lee. Wow, so this thing's dirty. Good yeah, I mind. mean, it's, it's okay. a dusty barn. Do you know if tires are soft or do they, do they hold just air? Just that one. 
That, oh, okay. That's the only one that's soft. The rest of them are good and hard. Okay. Okay, wow. Yeah, it's going to need a power washing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, it'll be a fun project. Yeah. Well, I made it back safe and sound. No problem at all. The weather was fine. We were supposed to get like a foot of snow and like usual weather people were all wrong. But yeah, so here we are. I'm going to have to get it unstrapped. I tarped it because you're really not supposed to get these things wet. And the lawnmower sometimes get wet. But Roby says you don't want to get them wet at all. So I covered it. Luckily there really wasn't any precipitation at all. So we're going to get it apart. It is really, really dirty. So hopefully my sow will come out. And you guys will get to see Caleb. And we're going to vacuum it, clean it, and then get started on this, uh, this project. But I'll get the tripod set up. I'll get this thing off of the Rich Rebuilds trailer and start cleaning it up. While Caleb is busy cutting the snow with a paintbrush, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. This will hopefully be a fun project that we could do together until he gets into my tools and does stuff like this. But um, <laughs> uh, it looks pretty straightforward. I don't really anticipate many issues, especially considering, I mean, I, I already built the T-Rex and other range extenders. This hopefully, knock on wood, should be a fairly easy project. Uh, a couple things of note that I, I just realized when taking it apart and cleaning it is it has an AC motor, which I was really surprised. I just kind of expect this to have a, a DC motor. Um, AC motors are usually a little more expensive, so I'm surprised they went that route. And, and also the Tesla battery modules look like they are going to be a direct fit. It, it's almost like they made this for Tesla battery modules. So that's gonna be pretty cool, pretty easy. I'm gonna build some kind of little box to hold those and um, future ideas maybe to make it have regen. Cause I'm pretty sure they don't have regen, which means I would have to replace the uh, motor controller. But I don't, I don't know, I'll have to dig into that and figure that part out, but that's it for now. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that normal YouTube stuff. Let's see you guys.